Oh, I can't hear you. Paul, do you know how to um, turn your mic on? Because I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. You all right? Yeah, you? Yeah, I'm okay, mate. Um, so I've got two questions for you here. Um, okay. What has your hardest fight been so far in your career? The hardest fight? Um, probably my last one against that Masood Abdullah, to be honest. Yeah, that was that was difficult. What, what how did it end for you? Were, you? were you confident going into that? What went wrong? No, I felt good to be honest. Um, I don't know. I think the kid was just too good. Yeah, he he's a big up and coming talent. Before, before that, you beat um, was it Luke Merrifield? It was Luke Merrifield, yeah. Yeah, that that was a good win to get back on winning ways. Were you confident with that as well? Yeah, yeah. Well, to be fair, it was, it was, I, was, I was confident going into that one, but he he was he was game. He was he was a tough lad. Yeah. He's only been stopped um, once by Eden Mohammed, I think. Yeah, he's only been stopped once, but he I, he must have been good to stop him because he, he's a tough kid. Yeah, he's a tough lad. Um, do you have any idea when your next fight is? I'm fighting on the 5th of March on a BT show. BT Sport? Yeah, yeah. I don't know who it's against. It's a, apparently it's against an upcoming... Prospect again, but is it Frank Warren's show? Either that or Queensbury, one or the other. Ah, uh, you so, can't... wait, you don't know is the opponent announced yet? No, no, no but I, just, I know I've got away nine stone three, so it's a super featherweight contest. Uh, when the opponent's announced, I'm sure you'll be ready to go, mate. Oh, yeah, 100%. I'll, I'll do my research and. Get on it. Yeah. Um, do you watch your other opponents fight before you fight them? I don't normally, but I have started to now. Like, who have you been watching? When I, uh, I boxed that Masood Abdullah, I tried getting little clips of him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He was, uh, Leon Woodstock as well. I don't oh, really we, have my yeah, he's good. He's good. Very good. He's a good lad. He's a tough fighter. Um, what's your favourite strike in a fight? What's that, sorry? What's your favourite strike in a fight? Oh, it's got to be the jab. Got to yeah. have a good jab. Will you fight at any other weight in the future? Um, I possibly go in at lightweight, but I think super featherweight is my limit. Yeah. Um, how did you get into the sport of boxing? Through my dad, really. My dad was a boxer. My granddad was a boxer. My brother was a bo- my brother was a boxer. My uncle was a boxer. My great uncle was a boxer. Uh, yeah, it's been in the, the the family for a long time. Yeah, and of course now you're you're a boxer as well, mate. Yeah. Um, do you know when um, that your fight's getting announced? Yeah. Soon, or can you not tell me? Um, I'm still waiting for a text to come through uh, uh. with the full details, so. As soon as I find out, I'll let you know. Is it an eight-round fight? It's only a four-rounder, from what I've I've gathered. Still a fight, though, mate. Still got to be active. I see, yeah. It keeps me busy. Hopefully get me a good little win as well. Yeah. Um, What age did you start boxing? I, I turned... Amateur when I was 13, but I didn't have a fight till I was 15. Um, and then I turned pro when I was 22. A bit, yeah. Um, 
Do you have any advice? Did you have many amateur fights? I had 48. 48 amateurs. I won 26. Nice. I was a box of good kids in that as well. I boxed at Sam Bowen. Really? He went on to become, yeah, he went on to become, obviously, British champion. Yeah, he's good. Very good. Did, did you beat Sam? Uh, Bowen. Nah, he, he beat he beat me on points. He did. Ah. Oh. Right. Yeah, it would have been a good little win, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, who's your favourite fighter currently? At the moment, uh, I wasn't a fan of him to start off with, but kind of Ben has started growing on me. Yeah, he's good. Did you see his last fight? Yeah, he's dangerous, man. Good punch. Right, yeah. Uh, have you seen um, the matching fights that have been announced? I've, uh, to be honest, I don't really keep a check on the box. I just watch it as, it, as it's on. Really? Yeah. Uh, um, you, um, did you see that um, Josh Warrington's uh, fighting for a world title again? He's going... And he got Ico Martinez again. Yeah, he's fighting him again. Do you think he'll win? Yeah, yeah. I hope so. He, he, he supports Leeds, Donny. He's certain lost for Leeds, so it'd be nice. Do you? Yeah. Someone's got to... <laughs> yeah, I support Man United, if you can see. I know. I saw, I saw the shirt and I was like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have any advice for people who are trying to get into boxing? Yeah, don't mess around. If you're going to do it, do it properly because it is, it is a tough game and it's not one to be taken lightly. Yeah. Um, I just I need to think of some more questions. I'm just finding some. No worries. Sorry, bear with me. Um. Of course, you also fought Louis Lynn. Was he tough? He's got a good engine. Look, he's a really, he's a really fit lad. He yeah. punch power wise. I've been in with a lot stronger, but he has got a really good engine. Yeah, he has. I say that the best one that I've boxed at the moment. Power wise has got to be, and skill wise has got to be that Masood. Really, do you think he's a big up and coming fight? Oh yeah, I rate him massively, and I'll, I'd urge people to start backing him and following him because he's he's a nice lad as well. Tough. It was a tough fight for you on the night. Yeah. Well, you're, you're hopefully you can bounce back in your next fight. Hopefully, we'll we'll see what this opponent's called and. I'll do my research and hopefully I'll be able to get an upset win. Yeah. Um, do you get nervous before you walk out? Uh, normally, I get nervous when I'm in the change room and, and I'm thinking about the fight. And, and as soon as I'm walking out, I go into, I suppose, like a fight mode. And not yeah. everything, all, all the nerves and then subside but literally when I'm in the change room that's when like the nerves kick in yeah yeah um are you um I've seen uh, your post on Instagram that you're stable mates with Luke Merrifield so do you do you spar with him I haven't sparred him but um we, we are planning to do a bit of sparring over the next couple of weeks yeah do you think that he'll get a win soon I hope so because he deserves it he's, he's a He's yeah. a tough lad. He's you know, like, tough. And he, uh, when we, when I boxed my suit, he, he was on the same show, and he boxed uh, an, another upcoming kid. He and apparently, Umar Khan. What's that? Sorry. He, he boxed this guy called Umar Khan. That's the one. That's, that was the same night. Yeah, yeah. 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 I and he, see- uh, got a clash of heads or something. He, yeah, he, he wasn't on TV, was he? No, no, he was literally, he was uh, the last fight. He was after um, Anthony Yarde and uh, Lyndon Arthur. Oh, that's, I wonder why it was after, because 
I, because I, it should have been on TV. So, same with your fight, mate. Yeah, well, my, uh, my opponent got told he would have been on TV, but I don't know what happened. So my, my opponent were very happy about that. Mm. Well, next fight, hopefully. So well, hopefully people will see more of him, yeah. Yeah. Did, was anybody there to support you for that fight? As it wasn't a home show for you? No, nah, no, nah, I was just at my coaches. <laughs> it's no pressure. <laughs> but in your on when you fought um Luke Merrifield, was there a few people for you in the crowd? Yeah, I had a fair bit of support. Weren't weren't loads, but I had, I had a fair few there. Which is nice. Um, good luck in your next fight and thank you for your time, mate. No problem, mate. Take it easy, yeah? Yeah, thank you. And you, mate. Bye. Thank you. See ya.